Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the tires out on your Eufy Robovac 11S. So we're going to turn it upside down. We're going to turn it off if it isn't already off. I'm just going to be working on this one here, but the same process will apply to both of them. So you might be replacing both of yours. We're going to take off the side brush here just to give us more access to these screws here. Now, this isn't an easy job to do because these tires are actually wedged in between two parts of the wheel. So you're going to have to open up the gearbox in order to get to it i'll show you in the video but you might find it easier just to maybe buy a part used one from somewhere like ebay rather than having to uh, try to replace the tires but you can watch the video and then decide yourself if it's something you would like to tackle so we need to undo the four screws here 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 and here and we're using a phillips one for the whole job here you might find it easier to use a phillips zero for these ones and then one for the uh, uh the gearbox but i'm just using one for the whole thing And we're going to just use a blunt knife just to prise up on this little plate here and that will loosen up this wheel. There's a little spring that's just come undone here and we have a little connector. Be very gentle with these wires here. Just nice and gently pull that connector out. Give it a little wiggle as you go. Don't put that under too much strain. So now we can put that to one side. We're working purely on this here. So we have to undo the six screws holding together the lid of the gearbox. These are the same screws that you've just undone from the plate, the same size. It's just the screws that are holding the wheel together that are slightly bigger. Now in this gearbox, it is gonna be full of grease, so you may get a little bit messy and just get a little pry tool and just lift the lid off. Like so. Now, we need to undo the circlip that's around this one here. So I'm just gonna take this gear out just to give me a little bit more room to work. And we're gonna zoom right the way in. And there is a little circlip just here. You can hopefully see me uh, turning it around. It's very hard to see, but basically there's a little circlip. You'll see when I start to undo it it would become more visible. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the tweezers. I haven't got proper tools for this, but I'm just gonna to try to uh, push out the circlip. So it's there and here. I can just see it moving around. So there you go, there you go. It's just popped out there. That came out nice and easy. It's this one here. So don't lose that. Now we need to start prying up on this gear, but be gentle because it is only made out of plastic. So I'm just gonna gently pry it up here work my way around as I'm uh, lifting it up, just turning the wheel. Bit by bit, you can see it's lifting up from here. There we go. Okay, put that to one side. Now we need to push the axle out from here. So you can see now it's coming out here. Again, if it's hard to get out, just start levering it from here. And hopefully bit by bit, if you do it side by side, you will be able to take that out. There we go. That is the wheel now out. Be careful that you don't get the grease everywhere. And we have four screws here to undo. This also gives you a good opportunity to try to clean up any trapped hair that's gone around the axle. So you can see here, there's a little bit of hair just here. Undo the four screws. And now, again, if you get your knife and go in here, you should find that, look at that, it comes apart there. And that is it. That's the two halves of the wheels. And now, at long last, you've got access to your tire. And you can see the way that it's wedged in here, all around here. And that's what stops it from slipping. So you see that when it's screwed together, there's no way that this can slip. So then you're gonna have good grip when your Eufy's working. So when you've got your replacement tire, we now need to put it back together. So give everything a nice good clean here. You can see that there's a little washer just there, so don't lose that. So we're gonna put the tire back on. There's nothing wrong with these ones. I'm doing this purely for the video. 
and it goes into the groove there as so you can see it fits nicely here and now can you see that there's a little key here it's keyed that bit there and if you look around here closely one of them is much longer than all the others so if you have a look here can you see that this one here is longer than all the rest of them so that's where we need to put it on so put the key married up to that one there and you can see that there we go it's clicked in place nicely there and that has now squashed the tire so it's nicely gripped on and that is flat with that there because we've gone through the correct part now we need to do the four screws up and now we're going to place this back in here and work it round until it goes home there we go now we're going to be placing this one back on now as far as I can see it is reversible but I remember that the dirty bit was against here so that's how I'm going to be doing it now and just wiggle it around until it goes fully home because again it's keyed you can see that it's not completely round there's flat bits on it we now need to try to get the circlet back on so we're going to be going where it's flat so if you have a look at the flat bit and the flat bit put the circlet on there so it's easy to get on you're not going to struggle as much putting the circlet on there as trying to get it across the wider bit Hopefully that makes sense. You can see the flat there and the flat there. So I'm going to be pushing the circlip up from here. There we go in that position there. And now I'm just going to be using the knife to push that on. There we go. There, that's fully home now. And hopefully then, because of the circlip, the wheel won't come out that way. Now we're going to put this one back on, like so, and that is how the gears line up, in case all your gears popped out. Put the lid back on, and do up the screws. And now you can see, or hear, that the gearbox is meshing okay. And we're going to put this back on. So first of all, we're going to put the connector in. If it doesn't want to go in nicely, it's probably the wrong way around. So you can see, there you go, that's gone in just fine there. And I'm going to get the spring and clip it onto this part. Just here. And nice and gently, making sure the wires don't get trapped anywhere, push that home like so. That's springing nicely. Let's do the four screws up. And there we go, we're going to place this back on again. Turn it on, and now your feet should be ready to roll again. There we go, off he goes. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.